Let me start this lesson by discussing what is refactoring. Refactoring is the process of applying transformations or refactorings to a program so as to obtain a refactored program with an improved design but with the same functionality as the original program. So a key aspect of refactoring is the fact that refactoring should be semantics preserving. So what is the main goal of refactoring? The goal is to keep the program readable, understandable, and maintainable as we evolve it. And to do this by eliminating small problems soon so that you can avoid big trouble later. And I want to stress once more a key feature of refactoring, which is the fact that it is behavior preserving. But how can we ensure that the refactoring is behavior preserving? In other words, how can we ensure that the program does the same thing before and after applying a refactoring? So what we would like to do is to have some guarantee that that happens. And unfortunately, in general, there are no guarantees. But something we can do is to test the code. For example, we can write tests that exercise the parts of the program affected by the refactoring. And if we're in an agile context, we might already have plenty of test cases that exercise that part of the code. So we might just have to rerun the test cases after the refactoring. And in fact, that's a very advantageous situation. And that's a very good use of existing test cases. And I want to make sure that you remember and that you beware that tests provide no guarantees. Testing can only show the presence of defects, but cannot demonstrate their absence. So we can use testing to get confidence in our refactorings, but we can really guarantee that the refactorings are behavior preserving. I also like to point out that for some simple refactoring, we can use a static analysis to actually provide these guarantees. And in fact, we will see examples of such refactorings that are incorporated into IDs and that leverage these kinds of analysis to perform refactoring in a safe way.